Welcome back to Death's Randomizer Challenge. It's been uh, a great week. Uh, what is this animation? Anyways, was there anything else we wanted to do in Gold Saucer before we just go do the thing? I, I don't think there was. I'm trying to remember. We already got Kate Sith, so we just have to go to the Battle Square. I don't think there was anything else we wanted to do. Yo, Solid with the $20 donation. Started off hot. Get some pizza. Also, D-Sides. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, my man. Um... Yeah, we already did. Wasn't there something we wanted to get? No. We just wanted to try the roller coaster game, which we already did. So, yeah, I think we're good. Yo, an anonymous 1,000 bits. Thank you so, so much. Oh my god, we're Zach. <laughs> Zach with the Buster Sword. Looking at a. Oh, Bugenhagen! No! They killed Bugenhagen, dude. Oh my god. That's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Okay, well. Did Sephiroth do this? So yeah, we've had a great week this week. Uh, mostly just playing Doom Eternal. Um, for those of you that don't know, I've been a big fan of Doom. Ever since I was a kid. Uh... Doom was one of the first games I ever streamed as well. When I when I first started this iteration of 4.8 Live, um, I did a Final Fantasy VII stream for my first stream, and then the next like several weeks were Doom stuff, Doom different Doom mods and stuff. Uh, so Doom was like the first thing we did on the stream. So uh, it was cool to play Doom Eternal. Uh, actually, the day it came out, because it actually got to my house. I don't know how, but it did. Um, what is that? Is that like a little pyramid? So that was awesome. I really enjoyed Doom Eternal a lot. Oh, dude, it's the wrestler. Wait, the wrestler has like a lower body. That's cool. Also, Hojo is looking very... Clock... Like... Oh, and that... Oh, what the... Why did Barrett have a clock hand on his back? What What was the other... Why were there two models there? Wasn't that just Cloud jumping into the hole? They must have added a model there for some reason. Uh... I am, like, invisible. Oh, I see me. I'm, like, tiny... That little tiny sign thing. Yeah, there's certain models that the rando really seems to like. I don't know if it's... Like... I don't know. I don't know why it seems to... I guess it's just luck, but... Okay, that's awkward. Oh, that's right, I can't run. Uh, I don't know what these things are. Are these the... Are these the dice? Or the, the, the faces? I don't know, they're just kind of dying. I, I have a feeling... Yeah, these are the faces. But they can't, like, do their attack. Because they don't have the right model. So they're just kind of chilling. <laughs> Let me in. This creepy face model. Why do I always get it? Also, Yuffie Reporter. So yeah, uh, we had a cool, cool week playing Doom Eternal. We also got the Neo Platinum, which was fun. Um, we also looked a lot into the. Uh, well, not not as much on stream, but off stream, I looked into the Final Fantasy VII speed run a bit more. Um, we're gonna be doing another speed run after Rando today. 
and um, I'm going to be doing it capped this time because the moderators said that they would make a separate category for capped if I got enough people to run it. So if you're interested in running Final Fantasy VII New Game Plus, let me know. Um, and I might be making a tutorial as well. Once I get a run that I'm happy with, I'll make a tutorial. So that more people can run it, because they'll add a, a section for capped, which would be cool. And it's a really fun run. Um, I think I talked about that last week, though, so I won't talk about it anymore now, but... How's it going, Napaz? How's it going, Kicking? How's it going, RNG? Good to see you all. Thank you all for being here. Hey, Sandcakes. Thanks for making it, man. How's it going, Silver Nail? Too early. Yeah, it is. I need more coffee. Wow, he was freaking out. Holy cow. <laughs> he was freaking out. And Eris was floating. Oh, the bullets have their own models. <laughs> hey, at least that soldier actually has a gun. Oh god, this cutscene is in with the model, so <laughs> looks really weird. I was thinking that was a regular cutscene. So yeah, uh, I'm wondering how this challenge is going to go. Uh, it's been pretty easy so far. We've had a couple uh, small struggles, but for the most part, the amazing equipment we got in the beginning of the game is pulling us through. Um, but it is going to get to a point where the amazing equipment isn't enough because the game will actually figure we have amazing equipment. Um, who has what? Darth with the $20. I'm glad you enjoyed the toilet paper picture. Yeah. <laughs> Just something about... I open up the Discord and I see a picture of a shopping cart with one toilet paper roll. Or uh, one pack of toilet paper at the bottom. Just like, am I going to get out alive? Holy cow, Jalix with the 3,000 bits. Holy crap. Thank you, thank you so much. I love your content, Death. This randomizer mod has had me in stitches, but please, the love of God, the monster is called Ultimate Weapon, and he drops the Ultimate Weapon. Okay, if I ever make that mistake, you're allowed to, like, yell at me. Okay, because that's one... There's a lot... There's a lot of, like, things in this game, like Eris and Aerith and all that stuff that's all, like... You can make an argument for it, but there is no argument for that. If I get that wrong, you're allowed to yell at me. Because <laughs> sometimes, I, I know what it is, but sometimes I misspeak and say ultimate weapon. So, <laughs> if I misspeak, I apologize. But no, no excuses. Uh, what do I want for your boy? Honestly, uh, I'll probably just... I mean, I could put on... I mean, if I really want to, I could just Alexander him into the next week.
Yeah, Yuffie has so many materia slots because of the Oritsuru. Is that how you say it? Oritsuru, yeah. Hey, how's it going, Force Kicks? Uh, okay, yeah, let me check PayPal for you. Real quick. Chopton said he donated, but didn't get an alert, so let me check real fast for him. did get $20, but it did not go through Streamlabs. Did you use the regular donation link or did you use the one on the site? If you use the donation link on the website, then it goes straight to me uh, and it doesn't hit Streamlabs. If you use the Streamlabs one, then it goes through Streamlabs, 10% of it goes to our charity, yada yada. But I would figure you'd use the stream one, because you usually do. Let's hear a bad joke. Oh god. We haven't had... We haven't had a good, very good week for jokes. Oh, he left. What did he steal from me? I didn't see. I wasn't sure if he'd be able to leave, but he did. Okay, uh, we are currently... We are currently in Dota 2 jokes right now. And, uh... It's... It's a little bit of a yikes. A LOL player and a Dota 2 player walk into a bar. The Dota 2 player tells the LOL player, Dota 2 is better. The LOL player couldn't deny. That's the whole thing. <laughs> That's the whole joke. <laughs> they, there's this running theme in this book. Like I, I swear this book was written by like a four year old. Cause like you know how you know how like little kids will think of a word that fits with something and just decide that's a joke? That's basically this whole book. Like there's a mechanic in Dota 2 called denying. So they just took that and were like, if a Dota 2 player denies something, it's automatically a joke because denying exists in Dota 2. Good lord. <laughs> that setup. It was like a three line setup for nothing. Why did it even have to be a bar? Oh my god. Oh wait, we actually got faces. What? These are death claws though. <laughs> Whoa, Barrett did some really weird spin when he did that. It's so weird because the face models are programmed to disappear after their first attack. So even though they're death claws, they disappeared. Oh my god, that Barret like 360 spin. <laughs> he does like a full 180 because he doesn't know where the models are. That's great. Okay, uh, we should be alright, I think. I hope. In catastrophe. I'm hoping we're alright. I mean, Dine's gonna do some damage, but 
All right, this kind of ruins the mood here. I will admit. Oh, Dine is the creepy face thing. God dang it. Kind of ruins the mood. This is serious business, guys. No laughing. <laughs> oh! Where was he going? I got nothing else to live for. I'm a creepy face. There's not many animations where this Fort Condor bird actually looks normal. There was one where he was kind of standing up and he looked alright. But usually he's just a mangled mess. Probably because the Fort Condor bird has like two animations. I was kind of hoping that Dine would be randomized. Ow. Uh, okay, he does a lot more damage than I thought he was going to do. He actually hurts a lot, even through my protect. I have Protect and a Aegis Armlet, and he is blowing me away. I guess his Slash All animation always looks like that. I never noticed how ridiculous it is. He kind of always goes, like, crazy. At least I get my limit really fast, because of all the damage he's doing. Hey, how's it going, Retro? Good to see you, man. I don't know if we're going to have enough healing for this. Barret's doing like no damage. Oh, this is going to obliterate me. Yeah. Uh, this boss music is the normal boss music. So yeah. Alright, Dine is going to be rough. <laughs> Dine is going to be a rough boy. So this is our first, this is our first big hurdle. He didn't even use his strongest attack yet. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, we haven't really gotten any weapons for Barrett either, so it's not we're not going to be able to burst him very easily. I'm not allowed to shop, so I can't go buy uh, items. I can't go buy, like, Molotovs. And I don't have steel materia yet, so I can't go get right arms. Usually the cheese for dying is right arms, but I don't have steel materia. Just looked at your Neo Plat video and I wondered if it would be a good idea to rate the platinum on its visual look too. Uh Do you mean the the trophy or the game? Cuz the game would be kind of silly cuz that that's not what the trophy list is all about. But you're talking about the actual trophy. That'd be kind of a cool idea. Cuz some of them they work really hard to make the platinum trophy look cool and then other ones are just literally a different colored same trophy. <laughs> Yeah, that could be a cool idea. We'd have to go back and do all the ones we've already done, but that could be a fun fun adventure just to go back and look at all of them. It's pretty easy to see them on PS profiles. You can just look through them all. Uh, so there is no rolling in this randomizer. 
which I really like. I think that's what makes it fun, is that it's randomized, but it's fixed. So, like, I can't just reset and get something different. I have to beat this seed, you know? So, I like that a lot better. If I could just roll into something better, then it wouldn't really be a challenge. Then I, every time I die, I would just restart and get something different. But this feels more like a challenge because I have to beat this seed. I have to figure, I have to kind of solve this particular seed. Hey, how's it going, Shotgun Shogun? Good to see you, man. How's it going, Adukin? I don't know how Wonder Square works, actually. I don't know if when I turn in my points if I'll get random things. That's actually a good question. I like how I have a giant piece of building chasing me instead of the regular thief guy. I think what'll go far is just fighting a few fights because Barrett's really under leveled. I haven't used him at all. So I just need to get him on level and then we'll be alright. Yeah, I don't know exactly what wall that is. There are certain walls in this game that are models instead of drawn because they have to do something like open or something or flash or whatever. Alright, time for another banger Dota 2 joke. Why did the Ember Spirit get muted? Because he's a flamer. That's the best Dota 2 joke yet. Uh, potentially, Rollage. Because it has a giant 7 on it, doesn't it? going neon good to see you hey how's it going Vladimir yep I'm doing good just anticipating my crazy next month kind of wait. I'm in that period right now where I know a bunch of stuff's about to go down, but I can't do anything about it. All I can do is wait. It's like the worst feeling. Waiting sucks. How's it going, Peanut? Two weeks. Again, I got I gotta let everyone know again, please do not expect anything from me uh, the day the remake comes out or the following day. The goal right now is to stream the remake the day after it comes out. That was my original plan when it first the release date was first announced. Because I wanted to give everyone a chance to play it before I played it. Um but please, like, take that with a grain of salt. There's a chance that when the remake comes out, I'm not here for, like, a straight week. I mean, it, like, anything could happen, so... 
Just, uh, if you want to watch me play the remake live, then just follow my Twitter. Like, even if you just unfollow it afterwards. Um, because that is where I will post everything going on, because it's gonna be crazy that whole month, so. There's a chance that I play it the day after it comes out, on the 11th, and it's awesome, and I play it all day, and everything's good, and there's a chance that I'm literally gone for five days right when it comes out, so. It's just... Keep that in mind. But... Do not worry, at some point I will play it, and I will play a lot of it, so. I plan on playing nothing but the remake for a while, and doing everything I can to... Uh... You know. I want to do everything there is to do in the game, I want to do... Go above and beyond that as well. I don't usually do, like, game reviews, but I'd love to do, like, a review of it, too. And talk about... Not really the changes, because I don't think that's really fair, but... Um... You know, just talk about... The game in general. I don't usually do game reviews, like I said, but I think if there was ever a game I did a review on, it should probably be... Final Fantasy VII Remake, because I would be the one to do it. I'm kind of wondering... How much... I even think about how much MP he takes. 120. I could probably get there if I equipped... Another summon. Nah. I don't think I'm gonna get... I don't think I'm gonna get to 120. So instead of Alexander... How much does Hades take? One fifty, yikes. Uh well I could HP to MP and cast Hades and hope he dies. <laughs> I actually kinda wonder if that would work. Honestly though, if I just go up a few levels, he'll probably get 120, so maybe I'll just do that. Go up a few levels, get 120 MP, use Alexander, win game. But yeah, there's, there is a lot I want to do with the remake, so don't worry, like, it will happen. It's just, don't expect the day one 14-hour stream from me, because it might not happen. It might happen. Might not happen, so. Just keep that in mind. Be, be open to anything. But if you do, like, 100% want to see me play the game live, just, like, Follow the Twitter, and I'll post exactly what's happening there. And then if you want to unfollow it afterwards, it's fine. But that'll be where I post. And the Discord, too, but Discord's a little more of a commitment, whereas Twitter, you can follow it just for the remake and then unfollow it. What's up, Dessa? What's up, Vagrant? So yeah, I'll post everything going on there. Hey, how's it going, Sir Ricard? Yo, Warks, thank you for the 13 months! I am having a great Friday. How's it going, Mendo? I will say that there's a good chance that I play it on the 11th. Like, if you want to just come on the 11th, in hopes that I'm here, you can. I will probably be on on the 11th. That is the that is the plan now. I'm just saying there's a good chance that plan goes south, but not a good chance. There's a chance that that plan goes south. 
but the plan right now is the 11th, and I'll be on all day. So, anytime you come, I'll be here. Nah, I'm not, I'm not playing the Resident Evil 3 remake. Is it coming out next week? I felt like it wasn't coming out till later. Oh wow. I, I have no idea, Darth. The game could come a week late. That's why I said don't expect anything. <laughs> There's so many things that could go wrong. The package might not- well, if I'm here and the package doesn't make it, I might just buy the digital version. I hate to do it, but I might do it. Um, because of my circumstances. Because here's the thing. If I- at any point within the next two months, I might have to be away for a week. So, if the remake doesn't come on time, but I'm here, then I should probably buy the digital version and play it, because by the time it comes, I may then have to leave. Like, I would hate to have the remake come out, but it doesn't get to my house until the 22nd, and then the 22nd, I'm like, alright boys, we're gonna play it finally, and then I have to leave for a week. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's like so many different things that could happen, so... If I'm here on the 11th, we're gonna play it. Even if I have to buy the digital, like I'll... I'll spend the money, because... If I'm here, I want to play it. If I'm not here, then... That's fine. That's, that's what happened, you know? Can't change that. Yeah, that's what it, what it would be, Marsh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Darth. There's a chance the game is late, there's a chance that I'm gone, there's a lot of different things. So, that's why I'm saying the plan is 11th, but... Just keep an eye out on the Twitter and stuff, because that might change. Almost there. 116. At least these fights are like super easy. Did I do, uh... Did I miss a bad joke? I don't know if I did that bad joke or not, because there's three. I think I only did two. Yeah. Who did Faceless Void thank when he carried the game? His mom and dad. Ohio has been on lockdown longer than pretty much every other place. Ohio is one of the first states to go on lockdown. Vagrant. Also, let's keep the the virus talk to a minimum here. <laughs> like, you can talk about it, but like, don't talk about possible other things that may or may not be true. Go spreading rumors. Uh, this is awkward.
No, I did not, Zaps. Yeah, for those of you that weren't here earlier this week, uh, this book, 157 Video Game Jokes, there's literally a page where it says, Enjoying the book so far, let us know what you think by leaving a review. And then it says, what has been your favorite joke from the book? So, I... The person that wrote this is like... Thinks that they're on Facebook or something? I don't know. There's not even like a link. It just says, leave a review. And then nothing. So... So what does it want me to do? L put the review in the book? Physically, like, write it down? Yeah, it's a disaster. Social media has ruined everything, officially. I can't even read a book without it asking me to leave a review. <laughs> what a disaster. See it works. Have a good night, man. Like and subscribe for more jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I've done uh I've done two food deliveries since we've been locked down. I mostly did them just to support the, uh, the town. Because I feel like I should. In both times, it was incredibly awkward. I don't know why they made it so awkward. Because, like, I told them, just place the food on the, on the porch. Like, that's all you gotta do. And that's what they, you know, that's what I'm guessing they were wanting to do anyways. But then, they like put the food on the porch and then they like stand there and look around. Which I guess, like I said, I, I think it was because like, they probably have a company policy where they're not allowed to just leave food. Like they have to know that you're getting the food. But like, I told them in the message, I was like, just put it there. Like, I, I can see you coming. Like, just put it there. I'll get it. But instead, they, like, stand there, and then I have to, like, look out the window, and I'm like, hey, th thanks for the food, but they can't hear me because I'm inside. So instead, I just kind of, like, do, like, a mime act where I'm just like, thanks, you can go. Thanks, you can go. Thanks. <laughs> it's pretty much... I just had to like give him a give him a thumbs up or something. <laughs> like I did I did a door dash and the guy stood there and texted me on his phone like your food is here which I appreciated, but he did it standing there, and I'm like in the window, and he's right here, but he's not looking up, he's texting me that he's here, but I'm standing in the window, I don't want to like yell, so I'm just kind of like standing there looking at him while he's like, and I'm just waiting for him to stop texting so he looks up and realizes I'm like this close to his face. It was too much to handle. I actually walked away. I was like, okay. I'm just going to walk away. I get the text. I look over and he's like... He kind of slowly walked back to his car. So I texted him back and was like, thank you. 
<laughs> but for like a good, a good 10, 10, 20 seconds, I'm just standing there staring at him through the window. I almost knocked, but I didn't want to like freak him out. <laughs> Thanks, I'm in the window. <laughs> I wish I had like a, a dog door. So like just throw it through the dog door. So for some reason, I'm getting the cure but not the the other one. Which I'm okay with. Don't steal my tent. Am I interested in Bravely Default 2? Not at the moment, because I haven't played Bravely Default, but I'm incredibly interested in playing Bravely Default. I really want to play it sometime. I, it might even be a Friday series, because I've heard so much good about that game, and I think it would make a good Friday series, because it's, you know, an RPG and whatnot. Wait, what? Bro! Verizon Wireless just added 15 gigabytes of data to my plan for free. What? Okay. I appreciate it. But, like, why? Like, they're doing it because of the lock-in, but... Because of the lock-in, I'm using less data. Because I'm at home. <laughs> So, like, what's the point? <laughs> I mean, I appreciate it, but, like, I, I'm using less data than usual because I'm not leaving my house. I guess some people don't use... But still, I... I would think everyone that has a data plan has a... has Wi-Fi. Who has a, a smartphone but not Wi-Fi at home? I feel like Wi-Fi at home would be more important than a smartphone. Maybe not. Hey, Nissan, how's it going? Hey, Tony, thank you for the bit. Anyways, that's great. 15 gigabytes, too. What in the world? My plan is like two. <laughs> I think I get I think I get four gigabytes a month. I have like the lowest plan. They just gave me so much. I'll never use that much. Uh, yeah, we just... yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. I've, I've always had... I guess for me it's weird because... I had Wi-Fi in my house before smartphones were even a thing. I had Wi-Fi in my house before I had a cell phone. And that was probably because my mom needed it for work. But, like, Wi-Fi is such, like, an obvious thing for me that we've always had. Even back when it was... Well, not exactly Wi-Fi, but, like, even just regular internet. Like, we had dial-up since it was a thing, so... Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. You would have, you would, if you work, if you work a lot, then you probably would have a smartphone and just get a higher data plan instead of getting Wi-Fi at home because you're never at home anyways. I guess that makes sense. When I think about it that way, like you would have no reason to have Wi-Fi to use at home if you were always on the road. But then suddenly you're at home all the time. So yeah. That makes sense. I can see it. What? I just realized this Elena's doing like the goofiest. He can't keep up with me because his animation is broken. Alright, so we now have enough to use 
Alexander, so we're gonna try Alexander and see if we can just give him the business. He's not gonna not gonna do as much damage as Cloud was doing, because Cloud has a ton of magic. Thanks to his sword. But hopefully it's enough. Yeah, my Wi-Fi disconnects from my phone all the time, which is weird because I have a a super duper turbo quam zombie protection Wi-Fi or uh, router. You would think it would reach everywhere, but sometimes I'll go upstairs and my phone will be like, "Duh, what's a router?" I hope you didn't need this data. Yep, it has zombie protection. I still don't know what that means, but it has it. <laughs> My favorite thing about the zombie protection is it showed a picture of a zombie. So, like, I made a joke when I bought it, because I bought it on stream. I made a joke like, wow, what does this actually protect against zombies? And, you know, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, well, zombie must be some kind of virus or some kind of thing, you know. But, like... On the ad, it showed a picture of a real zombie. So, like, either they're embracing the meme, or they, they don't know what zombies are either. And they thought it actually meant zombies. Because they have, like, a picture of a ooh, zombie. <laughs> like, okay, I guess it does protect against real zombies. I don't know. I think they were just throwing out words. They saw some other router with zombie protection, and they were like, oh, we got that. We got... <laughs> Our router does that. <laughs> I could also summon a uh, Titan if I use an Ether. Alexander Big Strong. This is gonna hurt so bad. Okay, not as bad as I thought. Barrier help. So basically what they're saying is it's like protection from your computer becoming a puppet. But I don't see why that's a separate thing. If it's already protecting against hackers, it doesn't really matter what the hacker's doing to your computer, you know? I don't know. I don't know enough about that stuff. Hey! We only need one more hit. Alexander almost one shot him. What is Yuffie right now? She looks like a little, like, tree branch. A little twig. <laughs> Did you just throw a person at me? Thank you for this person. I know. 
He didn't jump, but then he just kind of disappeared. Hate to see it. Uh, I believe that model is actually the clock from the Temple of the Ancients, but the gray part is covered by the actual clock, so you just get the mouth. I could be wrong, though. Oh, Sir Knight! <laughs> Mr. Dolphin, I want to go up. Check this out, I got a giant... Okay. <laughs> he showed him like a piece of grating and then did a dive. That was enough to prove his innocence. I think someone needs to check on Grandma. She's having a, a hard time. She's falling and she can't get up over there. <laughs> oh, nope, she's fine. Alright, we're good. Oh, good, my manager. Kate Sith. In disguise. I never notice how ridiculous Kate Sis' face looks in that model. Oh, great. Oh, Mr. Pe Mr. Dolphin, you're back. What is the guy doing in the corner? <laughs> Are you guys aware someone's trying to, uh... Do a number two over there. Those do kind of look like stalls. The guy got confused. He thought that was a stall. What's up, takedown? What's up, 98? Throw? That's pretty lame. Oh, man. This running animation is top-notch. This guy is the Limbo Champion. Look at that guy. He's so excited for the race. Yay, Chocobo Race. <laughs> He's doing a reverse worm. Oh, God. Do I have to talk to the guts? God, how is this guy so far ahead? Out of the way, buddy. Oh yeah, that's right, we gotta go back and trade in the Earth Harp, see what happens. I'm kinda glad I didn't go yet, though. We'll go when I have, uh... Well, we can go now, that we have the... That's right, we said we were gonna go once we got the buggy, because it'd be quicker. And we're about to get the buggy, so... Oh, oh no, gross! Get this out of my stomach. This is not right. Oh, this is really not right. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, no. Okay. It's alright. Alright, we're going to get rid of Barrett. Not feeling Barrett. Go back to Tifa because we never use Tifa. She deserves she deserves some limelight here.
Great, we got throw materia, boys. We're in there. I love throw materia. It's so useful. Remember that time I used throw materia? I actually used it once in Scavenger Mod against Bottom Swell. That's like the only time I can ever remember using throw materia ever in any playthrough. Yo, Jen Londo with the tier three. 20 months. Holy cow. Can I get some foam in the chat? Thank you, thank you so, so much. Oh yeah, this is creepy. I'm like floating. Uh, we should have manipulate. So yeah, we might be able to go get white wind. Which would probably be a good idea. But first... Let's see what Earth Harp does. I have a feeling I'm gonna get three materia. I just don't know if it's gonna be the master materia or not. Throw isn't useful in any run. The only time I've ever had usefulness with throw is against Bottom Swell and Scavenger because we had almost nothing else to deal damage. And you can get boomerangs right outside of Bottom Swell, like right in the forest there. So you can get a bunch of boomerangs and throw them. But that's it. Other than that, throw is almost completely useless. Even throwing legendary weapons, or ultimate weapons, don't, doesn't do much damage. And gill, throw gill is okay. Like, throw gill is alright, but the actual regular throw is not great. I'm an upside down chest! <laughs> Why am I upside down? Marshbag, they've the gifted sub to take down for the two months, and Sia with the tier three nine months. Get some foam in the chat. Nine months, I'm part of this awesome crew. Thanks so much for being here, man. Oh, and I sent you an email. Did you get it? How's it going, Anik? Everyone look away. You don't want to see the gross caution sign with the A and the U way too close to each other. Look away, look away. This is, uh, this is awkward. Out of the way, glove. Yo, Odin, thank you so much for the 100 bits, man. No problem, my man. You've kept me sane during this time of isolation as well. Alright. Time to go see what's in store for us. We could also go get data, too. Potentially. He's still gonna hurt a lot. At least we have protect now. 